MycoAlert Mycoplasma Detection Kit for accurate, reliable, and universal mycoplasma detection. The MycoAlert essay is a selective biochemical test that exploits the activity of specific mycoplasma enzymes, catalyzing the conversion of ADP to ATP. It is a simple two-step luminescence assay which does not require any DNA extraction and gives you results within 20 minutes. By incubating a sample for five minutes with MycoAlert reagent, viable mycoplasma are lysed and background ATP is measured in a first read via a luciferase reaction. Then MycoAlert substrate is added. In the presence of mycoplasma, additionally generated ATP leads to higher light values for the second read. The ratio of read B to A is indicative of the presence or absence of mycoplasma. As a first step, program your luminometer or multifunctional reader. Lonza's Lucetta luminometer has a tailor-made MycoAlert mode that guides you through the protocol and calculates the ratio. As a next step, prepare the MycoAlert reagent, the MycoAlert substrate, and controls. We recommend including a negative and positive control in every experiment. A MycoAlert positive control is available as a separate item. It does not contain live mycoplasma. The MycoAlert SA buffer serves as negative control. Reconstitute the MycoAlert reagent and MycoAlert substrate in the recommended volume of SA buffer and mix gently. Leave for 15 minutes at room temperature to ensure complete rehydration. In the meantime, reconstitute lyophilized MycoAlert control by adding 1 milliliter MycoAlert buffer. Mix gently and equilibrate for 15 minutes at room temperature. Keep the remaining MycoAlert buffer as negative control. Sample types suitable for MycoAlert SA are cell supernatant from suspension cells during passage, or cell supernatant from adherent cells prior to trypsinization. Take at least two milliliters of cell culture supernatant and transfer it to a centrifuge tube. For optimal assay performance, supernatants should be tested as soon as possible after collection. Cell supernatants must be spun at 200 G for five minutes to remove any remaining cells. Cells present in the sample will increase the background, resulting in a loss of sensitivity. Transfer 100 microliters of samples and controls into a luminometer tube or plate. Add 100 microliters MycoAlert reagent to each sample and incubate for five minutes to lyse mycoplasma and convert background ATP into light. For measuring background ATP levels, insert sample tubes into luminometer and perform luminescence reading A for all samples. Add 100 microliters MycoAlert substrate to each sample and incubate for 10 minutes, allowing the generation of additional ATP in case mycoplasma are present. For measuring a potential rise in ATP levels due to mycoplasmic enzyme activity, insert sample tubes into luminometer and perform luminescence reading B for all samples. The ratio of reading B to reading A is now used to determine whether the cell culture is contaminated by mycoplasma. If the ratio is below 0.9 or 1, Depending on the MycoAlert version, your sample is negative for mycoplasma. 
If the ratio is above 1.2, your sample is positive for mycoplasma. A ratio in between is a borderline ratio which may indicate a very low contamination, but could also be an artificial result driven by the sample matrix. In that case, retest your culture after 24 to 48 hours. MycoAlert Mycoplasma Detection Kit for accurate, reliable, and universal mycoplasma detection.